Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. Today we are going to take a look at example number 6 which has a problem statement given below. So uh, let us try to understand what the problem statement is all about and uh, we will only be drawing the ladder diagram with respect to this as that is one of the most integral parts of these type of questions. So uh, let us take a look at the question at the first place. So they have asked us to design a PLC program and prepare a typical input or output connection diagram and ladder logic program for the following motor control specifications. The specifications is as follows. A motor must be started and stopped from any one of the three start or stop push button stations. Each start or stop station contains one NO normally open start push button and one normally closed stop push button. Motor overload contacts are to be hardwired. So we are only going to focus on these two uh, points because we are not drawing the hardware logic for this. We are only going to take a look at the ladder logic program for these type of questions. So at the first place how to draw the ladder diagram for this. So if you carefully observe they have told us there is one motor that is to be connected uh, and it should be connected to three different stations through push button switches and there are start and stop push buttons in each of these stations that means there are two push button switches in each of these stations so how do we approach these type of problems I would suggest you to pause this video and try this problem on your own in case you don't get it then you can continue watching this video and get a clear understanding on how to solve this so at the first place we will be requiring one normally open start push button, one normally close it stop push button. So if you carefully observe they have given us each station contains one normally open start push button and one normally close it stop push button. So let us consider this as station 1 and it has one normally open uh, start push button and one normally close it start push button and it is connected to motor in this particular fashion. So once this step is done they have told us motor must be started or stop it from any one of the three start or stop push button stations. So any one in the sense it is clearly an indication of OR gate operation isn't it. So in case you have missed that video on uh, how to analyze OR gate uh, with respect to PLC please do watch it that will give you a fair amount of idea in order to continue further with respect to this question. So again we will be having the same number of contacts for station 2 again we will be having the same number of contacts with station 3. For OR operation we have to connect them in parallel. So this is actually the ladder diagram for this particular question. So normally closed contacts basically stop push button and these are normally open contacts which are start push button. How do we analyze them? So we have drawn the ladder diagram but how do we justify this is the right di ladder diagram? Let us start analyzing them in this particular fashion. So if you carefully observe the green ones are normally closed contact which will be acting as short circuit. Since they are acting as short circuit I have represented them in green, connect, green color. So now if I press this particular start push button in station 1 so what happens this gets energized and I, like it is indicated in green the entire rung gets energized and the motor starts so if I press the start push button of station 1 the motor is starting so our logic is correct now if I press the stop push button consequently it will be energized and acts as open circuit because it is a normally closed contact. What happens the supply to the motor is cut off the entire rung gets de-energized and the motor stops rotating in the, and it is de-energized in this particular fashion. Now let us say I will be starting uh, it from station 2. So once station 2 contact is uh, energized, start push button is energized, the entire rung gets energized and from the input to the output there is a connection in this particular fashion and the motor starts rotating again from station 2. Now if I press the stop push button from station 2, what happens? This become uh, open circuited because it was normally closed initially and uh, the motor uh, gets de-energized and the rung gets de-energized as well. So as a result the motor stops rotating. Similarly the same procedure can be repeated by pressing the start push button for station 3 and uh, the process remains the same. So why is these type of circuits uh, very important? If you uh, think about a logic where these three stations are located at three different places uh, say one kilometer apart and they are connected to one particular motor that should be turned on so there is a requirement uh, you have to uh, manually operate them uh, from physically different places so 
those type of applications these type of circuits are actually used isn't it very simple i hope you were able to uh, analyze this uh, question and were able to solve this on your own in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video thank you